of the Lord. For he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. here. Thank you for the shepherd of this house, God. Yes, the under shepherd. Yes. Father, we thank you for his family, God, and his church family. Yes, grace. Thank you yes. for those from New Christian Life. Yes. Those from around the community that have come this day. Yes. Yes. We depend on you this day. Yes. In Jesus' name, let us say amen. 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 Bless you truly. He is good. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank God for Elder Capus. Oh, yes. Yeah, Praise the Lord. Amen. Having us here today. Amen. Peace Valley, God bless you. Thank you. On your women's day. Thank you. Praise the Lord for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're just grateful mm -hmm. for the heart of Elder Capers. Amen. He came to do Christian life. He and he preached. Yes, sir. Amen. What is grace? Yes, sir. And he preached uh -huh. what grace is. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. We were blessed. Amen. Anytime someone talks about God's grace, we all get excited. All right. Amen. Amen. I was blessed by that message. Amen. Thank God for a man that loves the Lord as he does. Amen. 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 The Lord will continue to bless him. Please. Amen. Thank God for all of you. Amen. We have our work cut out for us. Oh, yes. Amen. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Preach on Women's Day. Amen. Amen. I told Elder Capers, I don't think you like me. Well. <laughs> for a couple of reasons. One, he, will, he, he gives a preacher that is long-winded for the Ephesians 2 conference seven minutes. <laughs> he doesn't like me. And then he wants me to preach on Women's Day. Knowing I'm going to be pictured as a male chauvinist. Well, it's all right. <laughs> preach, preach. But we love him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We thank God. Preach thank God, God for all of us. Thank God for these preachers. Amen. 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 Thank God for New Christian Life and that choir. Praise Amen. God. Amen. 
That introduction, amen, and thank God, that's, amen, that's my friend, amen, and I think uh, El Pickett, he, uh, sometimes he's there for, he, he takes up for me when my wife is getting on to me, he, he knows how to soften the load, I thank him for more than one reason, <laughs> he, my wife can be getting on to me and he'll crack her, you know, say something funny to kind of soften it, and she can't remain mad, thank God. <laughs> Amen. But as I was uh, thinking about what I would say today, Elder Pickett asked me, he called and said, what are you thinking about for Women's Day? And I said, uh, I got a few things on my mind, but I'm going to get him in trouble here. He no, said, no, no. I'll tell you. No, no, no. He said, I'll tell you what to Tollywood. He said, Tollywood, woman, where's my plate? <laughs> I told him that if I told that, then all the pressure would be off of me. He's the enemy today. Don't, don't beat me up, now. But we love these brethren. Amen. And if it came down to it for someone to represent me before, before a high court, and if I had anyone that would that could stand on the gospel, I would not pick the president of the United States. I would not pick the Pope. I would not pick a mega preacher. But these two men here, I would love, and these brethren to stand and represent me for standing on the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank God for you. Thank God for my wife. God bless you. She prayed for me and prayed for me. Thank God for her. She's a sweet lady. She keeps me straight. Those of you that are mad. If I have any qualification to stand here today besides that God has done it, not me, uh, my other qualification is that I'm married. Right, right. Married to a beautiful woman who, who is also my critic. Thank God for her being my critic. Amen. From how I talk to what I wear. All right. <laughs> Sister Capers, God bless you. My wife is in school to be a, she's going to, she's taking criminal justice. And she wants to be a, she's going to be a, a juvenile probation. I think she's going to be a, a fashion police officer. Because <laughs> she won't let me wear black shoes with a brown belt. <laughs> but no, she's in school and she's uh, very dedicated to it. But I think that helps qualify me today to be able to stand here and preach because uh, to women, you know, sometimes women want to know how can a man say anything to me. Come on, God. But my wife, praise God, who is a blessing to me, God gives me every day the opportunity wow. to prove to myself that I know him. I don't have to wait to get to church. All right. I don't have to wait to get to the public. <laughs> but uh, those of us that are married, God has given us, uh, he given us the word as a measuring stick. Yes. But I want you to know, if you truly want to know, if you know the Lord, do you respond as God tells us in the scripture mm -hmm. to respond to your spouse? Yes, well, right. Let's go to the scripture and then we'll get back to, I have two passages of scripture. One is Proverbs 31, uh, preferably where most of our lesson will be coming from today. Proverbs 31 and we will start at verse 10 and then we'll go to Revelation 19, but back to Proverbs 31. Amen. Verse 10 starts out with this question, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? The heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. 
She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hand she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her camel goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands to the distaff. She stretched out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing. Yes. Praise God. And she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children will rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excelleth them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Amen. Give her the fruit of her hands. And let her own works praise her in the gates. Yeah. Amen. Revelation 19. Mm -hmm. start. We're just going to read. We're going to start at verse 7. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he said to me, Right, blessed are they which are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Back to Proverbs 31, we want to look at our verse 29, many daughters have done virtuously, yes, sir. Yes, sir. but thou excellest them all. Right. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Yes. Yes. Woman that feareth the Lord, Whoa. she shall be praised. Praise the Lord. And for a subtopic, a woman that maketh herself ready. Right. A woman and make it herself ready. Pray with me. Our theme today, valuable. Valuable meaning worth, great deal of money, having significant monetary value. Useful, having great importance or usefulness. Held dear, cherished, or esteemed because of personal qualities. The theme is the value of a woman. All of us can testify that all of the women in our lives are valuable. Whether it be a mother, whether it be a sister, whether it be a daughter, they're valuable in some type of way. All of our women are valuable. Our women today are not to be uh, minimized by what they do. I know the woman that I'm married to, and I can testify about my mother that uh, they are multitaskers. From changing diapers to washing and drying clothes, and going to the cleaners, cooking and cleaning, from going to the school, from reading books to the children, to making sure uh, the house is ready, making sure that the food is ready, taking care of the guests. Our, our women are multitaskers. Mm -hmm. yes. We all have valuable women in our lives. Mm -hmm. But this Proverbs woman here, mm -hmm. there's something different about this woman. Yes. All right. This woman is different than the average good woman. Mm -hmm. uh, good mother, good daughter, good wife. There's something different about her. Yes. And, and, and what is that? I, the verse 31, 29 said, Many 
daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Something different about this woman. Scripture says, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. Yes. Who can find a virtuous woman? This question tells us that there's a, a rarity of this woman. Right, right, right. right. That, that this woman is scarce. Yes. The scripture says, who can find a virtuous woman? And the world says, who cares? Oh, about all right, all right. a woman being virtuous. This woman here cannot be found naturally. That's right. right. Oh, no. Right. There's something about this woman. Uh -huh. yes. I like Solomon when he wrote the Proverbs through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. He started this Proverbs out about talking about the, the beginning of knowledge. Wow. Mm. The beginning of wisdom is what? The fear of the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. And he closes the Proverbs with the last chapter and the 30th verse. Mm. Yes, mm. yes. That the only type of woman that shall be praised is one that feareth the Lord. That's wow. wow. That's what I see. Hmm. Woman that will be praised is one that fears her Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. This woman, praise God, is a unique woman. Amen. Something about this woman that is not like the average woman. Right. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Mm -hmm. The songwriter said, he saw the best in me. Mm, my Lord, my Lord. But the scripture said, there's none good. Right, right, right. No, not right, one. Right, 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 right. Listen, how can a woman, Come on, for that God. matter, anybody be considered valuable? Oh, have mercy. All right. There is none good, no, not one. Right. God did not see the best in me, right. but he put his best in me. That's it. That's it. Set Jesus in me, That's Jesus in you, Jesus in us, the hope of glory. Yes. Right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. See, many, I've seen this scripture used so many times, a virtuous woman, and, 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 and there are people, there are, there are women that live like anything that, that call themselves a virtuous woman. Oh, I have right. 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 I heard someone say, listen, before we can get people saved, we got to first get them lost. Yeah. We've got to put the scripture up against people that are living in sin. That's right. Don't right. use right. anything else as a measuring stick. Right, right. right. That's good. That's good. That's it. Keep talking now. Don't measure yourself according to the world standard. Don't measure yourself according to what BET yes. might call it. Say it again. Say it again. Come on. Before we knew the Lord, can I get us lost today? Oh, we stood guilty. Yeah. Rest. Yeah. Lying. Yeah. Lame. Yeah. Death. Yes, sir. We would do his wrath. Right. Yes, sir. We were fitted for hell. Right. But thank God for Christ. Yes, sir. Yeah. We love this world and its pleasures. Oh, yes, yes. We were oh. fools and we were unwise. Right. We were despising wisdom and instruction. Yes. We were high. children of wrath, yeah. Yeah. even as others. Yes, sir. And we were serving the devil, our father. Yes. But the scripture said, but God. But God. Have you done? Yes, sir. The only reason that we feel 
Spirit of the Lord today. He said that this, the difference between this woman and the regular woman is that she fears the Lord. Right, 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 right. 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 And that fear ain't something she was born with. I don't right. that. Right. Right. If you feel the Lord today, I want you to know, you need to say, thank God for Jesus. Uh -huh. with the belt. Uh -huh. That's not the fear I'm talking about. No, 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 the fear no. that I'm talking about is that reverence. Yeah. When we sung the song, we said our God is awesome. Oh, God. Oh, it's a reverence for God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. The only reason we fear him today is because of his mercy. Yes. 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 That's it. It's because of Jesus Christ Bring and his righteousness. Yes, My yes. sins were scarlet. Yes, sir. Yes. They were To his purpose, yes. for whom he did foreknow. He foreknew us. Right. That's intimate. He knew us. Yes, sir. It wasn't an intellectual knowledge. Yes. Right. It wasn't God looking down and receiving information because he found no. Right. But it was an intimate no. Right. Like Adam knew his wife Eve and she right. couldn't see. Right. 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 It was like Joseph and Mary before uh, 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 Joseph knew his wife Eve, she was with child. Right. Right. He said, A virgin shall be with child, not a woman that's been around. Right. Come on. Boy. For whom he did watch so know, watch watch he out. also did predestinate right. to be conformed to the image of his son. Right. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Yes. For over whom he did predestinate them he also called. Yes, whom he, he called them he also justified. And whom he yes. justified right. them he also glorified. Mm -hmm. Ain't God good? Yes, he is. In other words, God has begun a good work in us. Right. Yes, he has. And the scripture said them, them he justified, he also glorified. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're not glorified yet. Right. But in the eyes of God, we are. Right. So that tells us how certain it is. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 But before we can be glorified, right now we're living in a place of sanctification. Yes. Right? yes. God is sanctifying us. Yes, it is. Ain't he good? Yeah. Yeah. And God has got us getting ourselves ready. <laughs> Work out your own soul <laughs> salvation. <laughs> With what? Spirit yeah. and trembling. Lemuel's mother was giving him instruction 
on uh, 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 how to live. Right. And what kind of wife to look for. Oh, uh, I pray that's what we're doing for our children. Uh -huh. I pray that we are concerned there you go. There you go. about what type of on, spouse they look for. Come on, preacher. Yes. Right? Come on, preacher. That's, that's a good mother. Yeah. A mother that's concerned about who her, who her son or her daughter is going to go out there and get. Come on, preacher. You better. Come on, preacher. <laughs> so, so, so yeah. Solomon here uh, tells us about this. This woman in verse 10, mm -hmm. he said, who can find a virtuous woman? Well, well. That's that rarity. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Get mad at me. But I got a lot of friends, and this is not the woman that they described to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, talk about it. Come on, come on. Talk about it. I'm going to talk to a lot of my Go ahead. friends, my real friends. Go ahead. That woman in... 3110, she might call herself that, but I, I don't see this one. They don't say this about her. Oh, have mercy. My Lord, my Lord. But what's important, praise God, in, in this day and time is that we must understand as Christians, amen, amen. we must understand the value of a wife. Right. Amen. amen. We must understand the value of marriage itself. Right. Listen, did you know God gives us a wife? Right. The Bible tells us a man is finding a wife, is finding a good thing. Amen. Amen. He didn't stop there and he says, and I'll take his favor from the Lord. Amen. Ain't God good? Yes. Houses and riches are the inheritance of the fathers. Yes. And a prudent wife yes. is from the Lord. Yes. yes. Adam and Eve, when Adam was in the garden and he, he, he was there with all those animals and everything else, yeah. it wasn't Adam's idea right. to say, I need a wife. Right. But it said, God said it's not good oh, man. that man be should be alone. Yeah, that's right. oh, Listen, so God gave uh -oh. him a wife. Ah, yes. Amen. 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 Right. So we're not to treat it just like anything. Right, right. Take some real concern. And guess what? These women that I found out from my friends, too, Ella Capers, oh, Ella Pickett, oh, brother, and I want y'all to know, they don't come with a manual. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to put it this way. They don't come with one that works. Right, right. However, uh -huh. there is a manual. Yes, it is. Yes. We don't need Lifeways how-to books. Right, 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 right. God has already told us. Right. I want you to know, praise God, that Adam and Eve in the garden. Well, Amen. It was God's idea, not America's idea. Right. So don't let America be the standard for what marriage looks like. Right. That's right. right. America says a man. Male is not man anymore. Female not female anymore. It don't even mean the same thing. Marriage is between a man and a woman. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. And that's a male and a female. Yeah. America says it's between a female and a female and a male and a man. Yeah, going off, man. We got to stick with what God did. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God made them male and female. And he said, except a man, gender specific. That means it being a male. It had to be a boy, a man. Yeah. Not a boy, because a boy don't need to be living home. Uh, right. Wait till he's ready. But a man, right. except a man leave his mother uh -huh. and his father yeah. uh -huh. and cleave unto his wife, female. Right. Who did that? God uh -huh. ordained that. Right. Right. If God ordained it, we don't change it. Right. 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 It's gender specific. Yes, it is. Then he gave instructions with it. Yes, and that hasn't been adhered to. Amen. It's forever. That's right. It's till death. That's right. Do his part. Uh -huh. And when you see Adam in the garden, you see Adam before Eve even got on the scene. Listen, man, Adam was responsible for everything. Everything. That's true. That's right. Oh, wow. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's 
subscribe to him. I said, he didn't say, I will make him a doormat. Right. I'll make him a punching bag. Right. I'm going to make him a trophy. Right. Oh, no. That's why God put him to sleep so man couldn't take claim on making him. Right. 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 Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he was responsible for it all, but God said, I will make him a helper. Right. Oh, yes. Ain't that good? Yeah. yeah. And then say she was gonna be dumb. Right. Work on she it. had to sit around and do nothing all day. Work on it. But cook and have babies. Yeah. That ain't what it said. Right. Right. Said I made him a helper. A help, man. Right. right. Help, man. Amen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank God for the help. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise help. God. Uh -huh. I'm in love with the help. <laughs> So, so who can find a woman as the as the scriptures say, who husband trusts her? She will do him good all her life. He is known in the gates, works willingly with her hands, brings food from afar, feeds her family and the servants. She considers the field and she buys it. She girded her loins with strength, strengthened her arm. She stretched out her hands to the poor and needy. She opened her mouth with wisdom and her tongue. And in her tongue is the law of kindness. Strength and honor are in her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She looketh well to the ways of her household. Eat not the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he prays with her. This woman, he, she accepted them all. This woman, who feared the Lord, she shall be praised. Her own works praise her in the gates. So... Who can find a woman who 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 prices far above rubies? Better wait on the Lord. Can't can't put price mm -hmm. on some of the things our women do. That's right. Yeah, right, 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 right. All the things right. you do. Right. Cooking, cleaning, grocery shopping, taking care of the kids, and, and, and cleaning the house, and, and, and entertaining guests, and, 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 and reading the books to them, going to the schools when the prince was doing whatever. Then you got our, our dinner ready and stuff when we get home. And then we get home and we say, you ain't did nothing all day. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Her cell phone 
is not locked. Right. Uh, it's open right. and he can pick it up at any time. Right, right. She respects him. Right. And she doesn't make him pay for intimacy. All right. Oh, I love her. All right. <laughs> She respects him. Listen, I need you to follow me with these and you need to go to the scripture so you can see it yourself. So you won't shoot me and you can shoot your Bible. She, she, she respects him outwardly, verbally, and spiritually. First Peter 3, 1 through 6. Put your finger there. Put your finger on 1 Timothy 2. That's what it says. Likewise, you wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. Oh, and if any obey not the word, listen, if you got somebody who says, well, I'm saved, but my husband ain't saved, listen, if any obey not the word, they also may be without the word, be warned by the conversation of the wives mm -hmm. while they behold your chaste conversation, coupled with fear. Who's adorning? Let it not be. That outward adorning of plaiting the hand, wearing of gold, or putting on apparel. But let it be the hidden man of the heart, and that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of what? Great, great price. Great price. Mm -hmm. yeah. For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves. How? Being in subjection mm -hmm. unto their own husband. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughter ye are, as long as you do well and not afraid of any amazement. First Timothy 2, 9 through 15. We're going to make points of reference in these. In like manner also, I'm going I'm, uh, I'm, I'm to go ahead and read and get there. First Timothy 2, verse 9 through 15. In like manner also, mm -hmm. that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, modest. with shamefacedness and sobriety, uh -huh. not with broidered hair, gold, or pearls, or costly array, but what you become with women professing godliness with good works. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, oh. nor assert authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, and then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Right. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. Mm -hmm. If they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. First of all, she respects him verbally. Mm -hmm. Listen, she don't, she does not, don't, she don't point out his mistakes. Right. All the time. It's okay to point them out. Right, right. <laughs> She don't put him down before others. Right. right. She listens. Right. She don't yell. Well. But she's tender. Amen. Amen. Listen, I, I don't I don't endorse it, but I see it happen all the time. Women being mean to their husbands. I mean, just talking to a dogish, as we say. Oh God. And then he gets to work. And the little girl in the break room is so kind. How you doing? Hey. You smell so good. Just nice to her. And that, in comparison to what he, he was on the phone. And he got the phone like this. Well, that's a demon. They yelling. And he hangs it up. He hangs it up. I know he wants to slam it, but we don't have the type of phones anymore. So he just hangs it up. And then instantly, you all right? <laughs> Women, treat him right verbally. Amen. Talk to him. Because you desire me to talk to him. Amen. Talk to him how you talk to your Lord and pray. Be grateful. That's the word. Be tender. Uh -huh. That's the word. Be kind one to another. Come on, come on. I'm learning that spouses, spouses uh, overrule Christianity. Uh -huh. mm. Spousalship overrule Christianity. Uh -huh. In other words, what I'm saying is sometimes a husband and wife think that the, the that they can treat you any type of way. Mm. I'm talking about Christians. Right. They can treat you any type of way. But they treat their brothers and sisters in the Lord like Christians. Right. My Lord, my Lord. If you are a married couple, 
or if you're a, a Christian in a relationship, you must behave as a Christian at all times. Amen. 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 That's right. Right. Same way I would be nice to this young lady here, it's the same way I need to be nice to my wife. Uh -huh. Even when I'm angry. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. That's right. Sometimes we feel like we can let our hair down because we're at home and no one else sees us. But God. But we act as if he as if he, as, as if he doesn't count. We act as if he's not looking. If you're a Christian, the scripture tells us, be kind ye one to another. It tells us not to let the sun go down. Give no place to the devil. Be at the dinner table every night. Because we don't know how to behave as Christians because we think we have some type of spousal authority over Christianity. My wife is my sister in the Lord. I'm going to treat her like that. Amen. That's good. Amen. We are to respect them. Verbally, listen to what the scripture says verbally. Even so must their wives be grave, mm, not slanderers, mm. sober, faithful in all things. Mm. First Timothy says, likewise, you wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be warned by the conversation of the wives. What are they watching? While they behold your know, chase. Conversation coupled with fear. Mm. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, this goes to all of us. Be a witness for Christ. Use words if necessary. Yeah. See, we want to tell pe people a piece of our mind. Right. Well, if you're a Christian, the mind that you have is the mind of Christ. Right. And if someone is uh, aggravating you or getting on your nerves, well, give them a piece of your Christian mind right. and say, God bless you. Uh -huh. I forgive you. Mm -hmm. right. I understand you're angry and I'm sorry. Wow. wow. And keep on going about you all you're supposed to do. Uh -huh. Don't quit. Don't clock out. Don't slow down. Amen. Amen. That's right. They, they go on strike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Outwardly, she adorns herself exclusively for him. Right. Right. You understand that? Okay. Yes. Exclusively for him. Not everybody. Right. 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 Especially in the church. Right. All right now. <laughs> She present herself. The church, Paul said it. Uh, uh, the, the goal was to present the church as a what? Chase virgin. virgin. Yes, sir. As a bride adorned for her husband. Yes, sir. And not every man at the club. Lord, have mercy. Amen. 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 I have friends that tell me that their wives and some of their friends' wives. Sometimes they wear more clothes to bed than they wear outside. Wow. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. That's it. That's it. Listen, I appreciate women knowing the Bible and following scripture, but when it says put on the whole arm of God, it don't mean the bedtime. The world's idea of how a woman should be adorned. Oh, Let me tell you something. It was actually, when I was growing up, there were some things that people wear to church on a norm 
that I heard my grandma and them say they call a woman a prostitute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Some of the same clothes that are worn in churches today are the same things that I heard. Amen. My parents look at somebody and say, that's a prostitute. Amen. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We're okay with it. Listen what it says. It says, who's adorning? Let it not be of the outward adorning of plaiting the hair and wearing of gold or putting on apparel. Mm -hmm. It's okay to look nice. Right. But let it be the hidden man of the heart. Right. Let a person, let somebody recognize you not for what you got on, but what's in you. The world teaches us to let it all hang out. Pump it up, make it bigger. Let it be seen. And then they're making jeans and jogging pants and stuff, and they put words on the back. Oh. Wait a minute, that, it ain't bad that the designer put it on the back. What's bad is, is that Christian women go by. And they say, I, I love the Lord and I love his word, and, and, I, and I'm obedient to him. I'm saved on my way to heaven and all that stuff. And they got written on the back. <laughs> now, I thought you understood what type of attraction you are to bring about yourself. Right, right, right. Now why do they put it on the back? Oh. Why do you go buy pants why? Why? with the message on the back? Why? 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 Oh, no, oh, you want me to see your heart. I understand. Oh. That's what it describes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Your heart is worthy. Oh, have mercy. It's not holiness. Right, right. That's worldliness. Right. You love this world mm. and the things of this world yep, this to the point oh. to where you will draw attention. Yep. Even in church, yeah, they come to cry rehearsal with that stuff on. Yeah. As if it's okay. And people are going to look at your backside. Yeah. <laughs> but that is not how you are to attract people to see your godly behavior. Right. Right. He said, let it be with the hidden man of the heart. Right. That's right. Stop putting on stuff to bring attraction to yourself. Right. That's right. Save your chest. Save your body. Save. For exclusively your husband. Amen. Amen. Keep it valuable to him. Amen. Not everybody else. But let it be the hidden man of the heart and in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of God of great price. For after this, the man, after this man in old time, holy women also who trusted in God yes. adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughter ye are. As long as you do well, you're not afraid with any amazement. The world tells you. The world tells you you're crazy mm. if you're if you're in submission to your husband. Mm. Yes, sir. But the Bible says the Bible. you are more most valuable. Mm -hmm. You are most attractive when you are in the position and in the role that God called you to. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Positionally and spiritually, when she knows you're the spiritual leader. She respects that Amen. in the house. Mm -hmm. right. She's not trying to be the head of the home, mm -hmm. nor assert authority over you. Mm -hmm. right. A lot of times people say, well, you know why women step up and take hold, take a place, and whatever, whatever. Because men ain't in place. And I can, yeah, I can, I can, yeah, yeah. 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 Fellas, a lot of times women step up. Take the initiative, step up, and cause me anything. That's a call to us. That we need to be doing what we should be doing. Right. Amen. Amen. We have a role. Amen. Praise God. It falls on us first. Yes. Right. It falls on us, and we need to be doing it. Mm -hmm. And women take the initiative to, to do things and be, do what she has to do. Yes. In so many words. Mm -hmm. However, all right. But <laughs> just because in the church <laughs> a man is not there, right, and a woman, which is 
She felt it was good to take the initiative. I'm glad women take the initiative to do things. Uh-huh. But just because she takes the initiative mm. don't mean it's right. Right, right, right. 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 Don't mean it's right. Listen. What Paul says. Paul says, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor absurd authority over the man, but to be in silence. Mm -hmm. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Mm -hmm. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression of understanding she shall be saved and childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness mm -hmm. and all sobriety. And you know, this is one of the biggest com conflicts in the church today. Yes, it is. It's one of the biggest conflicts in the church today. Uh -huh. Can women <coughs> preach and pastor? That's what they ask. Right. And if you want to know, ask Jesus. Right. Uh, don't, don't go and make reference to everybody in every other town and every other church. You want to know something, you want to know the truth, ask Jesus. Uh -huh. Word. Word. Well, then even when Paul begins to talk about that, they say, well, Paul was talking about the times of that day. Yeah. You know how it was in that day, this and that. And, and, and they say that, that's the only reason he did that because of that culture in that time. Uh -huh. If that's the case, watch what Paul says. Mm -hmm. Paul said, but I suffer not a woman to teach, mm -hmm. nor to assert authority over the man, mm -hmm. but to be in silence. Does he refer to the to the culture of that day in order to make his point? What's his next statement? Mm -hmm. He goes all the way back to Genesis, to Adam in the beginning. He used scripture for his support. Yes, right. When people ask you, should a woman be a bishop, an elder in the church, you give them scripture. Right, right. right. Give them scripture. Right. Now listen. He went and said Adam was first formed. Now, women want to know, listen, you can, you can contribute to the kingdom of God in a mighty way. Yes, that's right. right. Getting up here and preaching, though you take the initiative, it don't mean it's right. right. Mm -hmm. right. Listen, I know how to make a mean hamburger. Mm. I can't. But when I go to Shoney's, I go to a restaurant, I just can't walk in their kitchen and start cooking a hamburger even though I know how to make a meal. Right, 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 right. Well, women can teach. Yep. Some of the best teachers. Mm -hmm. Man, they can minister, they can do some things. Good service. Yep. Telling you, women know how to put things together. But they have not been given the authority in the church. I have not been given the authority at Shoney's as a customer to walk back behind in the kitchen and fix my hamburger, even though I know how to fix one. Right. I have to be authority. I don't have one right there. Right. 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 I'm not qualified. Right. Right. And so he goes back and he said, Adam was first formed. Then he, women, listen, you have a great responsibility to the kingdom of God. Yes, they do. Men, listen, he said, Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived. So what happened in the garden, I want you to know, Adam, Adam did willingly. Adam was right there. He was right there. He went to see, saw what was going on. Man, we cannot stand there and just let things happen. Even if it's for the sake of pleasing our wife. Yes, yes, yes. We are responsible. Adam was just as responsible that day as Eve was. Yes. Right. Adam was there and not deceived. Notice what it says. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. Now, this doesn't mean that she's going to uh, become a Christian. This is saying that this Christian woman here, the, the stigma that is on her for falling in the garden, yeah. that did not wipe her out. That did not say that this woman cannot contribute to the kingdom of God. Right. Yeah. 
He said that she shall be saved in childbearing. In other words, can this woman, praise God, still contribute to the kingdom of God? Yes, yes she can. Yes, sir. Does she have to get in a pulpit? No, she don't. All right. yes. She don't even have to say a lot of words in order to prove she's a Christian. <laughs> but notice what it says. When she bears a child, yes, sir. do you not know that all of us in here came from a woman? Yes. Unless you were hatched. <laughs> All of us came from a woman. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Jesus Christ, did he come from a woman? Yes, he did. Are we born again today because of Jesus Christ? Give God the glory. A woman shall be saved in childbearing. Why? Because she can teach. She can Actually, she designed to carry and nurture children. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. Yeah. And when children come, she's able to teach them. Word. She's able to train them up in the way they should go. Oh, yeah. And I want you to know, if you got a pastor today, you ought to thank God for the woman. Well, yeah. Yeah. She played a, a, a vital role in the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So stop thinking that you have to uh, uh, take over the man. Notice this. One of the consequences of Eve being deceived was that it said that your desire shall be to your husband. Uh -huh. Women, you may not know it, but there is a desire in you to be in charge. That's right. To take over and be in authority to your husband. That's why that enmity is there. That's why that friction is there. And let me tell you something. When you are rebuking everything else, um, you need to rebuke that desire. Right. You need to rebuke that. Yes, Lord, you did not make me the hate. But give me the grace to follow the one that you did. But listen, they shall be saved in chapter if they continue in faith. Uh -huh. Charity, holiness, with sobriety. Come back, come back. Listen, I want you to know something. And some of you guys are very fond of some of these women preachers. God bless them. God bless them. And some of them out there doing all they know to do. Let me tell you, they made it in Lebanon, Tennessee. They made August the 3rd. They made it a Bishop Belita Fights Day. The mayor. August 3rd is declared Bishop Belita Fights Day. It teaches us several things. One, that he is ignorant or he is going totally rebellious against Scripture. Okay? He doesn't understand. He is rewarding her a day of something that the Bible don't even recognize. And I know that's pretty hard. But it's truth. It's true. That's all I'm Some guys, we stand by ourselves. Yeah. Right. Everybody's not going to teach this. That's yeah, right. right. Because they don't want to offend anybody. Right. 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 But I want you to know that the only reason I know God today is because I got offended. Right. 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 We got to be willing to preach, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's yeah. right. For we're in the time when men are not enduring sound doctrine. Yeah. Right. Even to themselves, teachers right. have an ancient ears. Yes, Listen, I want you to know something. And this goes for every woman preacher mm. and every man that has not truly been called. Mm. So, uh, you will receive the certificate of perfectly grieving the Holy Spirit. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's, right. That's right. That's the reward. That's right. You get a certificate. A trophy for perfectly grieving the Holy Spirit. That goes for all of us. When we're not doing what we should be doing, we are grieving the Holy Spirit. That's what we've been sealed with until the day of redemption. That's right. Let us try to close. This woman here, she only gets better as time goes and never lose interest in him. Well, well. 
Hmm. I could talk about that, praise God. And when we first started dating, we had all this interest in the other person. I did everything my wife wanted uh, that she wanted. I did everything, and she did everything I wanted. But as time went on and the infatuation uh, fell off, praise God, we, then we started saying, well, he didn't get nothing for me. It goes back to me again. <laughs> but listen, you want to keep your marriage fresh? Uh -huh. Keep that same interest you had in the beginning. Amen. Keep doing those same things. Amen. 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 Listen, her hands, it says she worketh willingly with her hands. She bringeth food from afar. She rides at night, giving meat to her household and maids. She considereth the field and buy it. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arm. She stretched out her hand to the poor and needy. Her heart, she opened her mouth with wisdom. And in her tongue is the law of kindness. Many men live on the, listen, many men live on the rooftop today. Y'all know why? Yes. Because they don't want to dwell in the house with a contentious woman. Listen, have love one for the other. You would know, people would know that you're Christ's disciples. Strengthen on her are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She looking well to the ways of her household, talking about her house, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children rise up, call her blessed, her husband also, and he prayed to her. Praise God. Her house, praise God. She's concerned about her household. And she's not in everybody else's business. But she's taking care of her house. Said that the, the, the children recognize their mother and they have one testimony for that woman and that she's a blessed woman. I can tell God has blessed my mama. And that is the testimony of her husband. And he praises her. Amen. When I think about Lois, and I think about Eunice, and I think about Lemuel's mother. Uh -huh. These women, praise God, their houses were seminaries. Uh -huh. Come on, Amen. 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 And it wasn't seminaries to produce homosexuals and lesbians. Uh -huh. Oh, no, they were seminaries yes, to uh -huh. teach the word of God. Yeah. To teach men to be men. Uh -huh. Young ladies to be young ladies. Uh -huh. Do you know how we have these old false seminaries out there now? Uh -huh. It's because we're not doing it at home. Uh -huh. In the church, we got to get back to teaching and preaching and stop yes. letting these old false yeah. seminaries rise up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's why we're producing all of these false prophets. Mm -hmm. They right. come out with these the truth. degrees yeah. and certificates mm -hmm. of theology and all this, and they're professional preachers never knowing the word of God. Yeah, we know. yeah. And That's packing true. stadiums out. Well, yeah. Yeah. But thank God. Thank God. For Lois and Eunice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Lemuel's mom. Yes. yes. Her honor, many daughters have done virtuously. Oh, yes. Ah, accepts them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. You want to be praised? Yes, sir. You, 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 you want some honor? Uh -huh. You want people to uh, thank God for you? Fear the Lord. Give her the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Yes. For her price is far above oh. rubies. Oh, yes, sir. Amen. 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 So listen, in my closing, how do we, cons we reconcile this woman? This woman here, wow. I mean, everything mm -hmm. that a, a man wanted this woman, check, it was that. You name it. Check. She got it. Check. She'll do it. Check. That's her. Check. I can't say that about everyone. I'm for sure many women have many virtuous ways. But this woman has said them all. Right. Amen. Amen. But you may say, wait a minute. I, I, I may be disqualified then. First of all, I, how can I be this woman? This woman here, she's got it all. She's doing everything. I want you to know something. Listen, you can't be virtuous on your own. Right. It says something about this woman. The reason she was able to do what she did is oh. because she feared the Lord. Right. And she feared the Lord, where did she get it from? It wasn't a concoction down in Walmart. Right. I want you to know that this woman, praise God, that fears the Lord, uh -huh. is the one that has received the grace uh -huh. of God. Well, yes, Many may say, I've looked at, right. and, 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 and I, I, I look at my past, uh -huh. and, and, and I, I've been messed up. Yeah. But 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 I tried and nobody could help me. Uh-huh. Listen, I can Eve stepped out of her road yes. and brought many consequences yes. to her family. Yes. 
Yes, he yeah. did. Rahab was an harlot. Yes. Yes. Yes, she was. Yes. Listen, you might be like Ruth. She abandoned her home mm -hmm. and her family's traditions. Yes, she did. Might be like Sarah and encourage your husband not to wait on God. Oh, Lord. Mary Magdalene had all types of demons. Yes. All I want you to know that there was a woman that had five husbands. Yep. And then when Jesus left, she was shacking. Right. Listen, there was a woman that was caught in the act and made public. Yes, sir. These women, according to what they've been through and what they've done, they were disqualified. But I thank God for the qualifier. Can a woman be a virtuous woman today? Oh, yes, she can. I want you to know that God came and snatched them out of the kingdom of darkness and turned them into the kingdom of his dear son. Can a woman be virtuous? unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church and is Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, yeah. not having spot or wrinkle yes. or any such thing wow. that it should be holy and without blemish. Mm. Listen, what John says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth will pass away and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared <coughs> as a bride right. adorned for a husband. Yes. 19, Revelation 19 said, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. Yeah. Ain't God good? Amen. Yes, he is. I bless you. May God keep you.